lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel and a very Merry Christmas to all of my lovely TTs. Look, by the time you see this video, it probably won't be Christmas anymore. Just know this video was recorded on Christmas, okay? So a Merry Christmas. Let's go ahead and get into the tea. Now we know that just this November, Cassie Ventura, which is P. Diddy's ex-girlfriend, decided to file a lawsuit against him for R.A.P. E, years of A, B, U, S, E, and S, A allegations, okay? There were so many gruesome things that came out that was said that Diddy did to his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. And once she decided to move on, she finally decided to file that lawsuit. Now, once Cassie filed this lawsuit, it inspired a lot of other accusers to come out and to basically expose Diddy and to say, look, he did this to me, he did this to me. There were so many people, so many women who said that Diddy had did things to them too that was similar to Cassie and they decided to file lawsuits against him as well. Now since Diddy has been going through all of this we know that Diddy has been catching a lot of heat but guess who else has been catching a lot of heat because of Diddy okay no other than Diddy's little boo thing, Young Miami, okay? Young Miami has been catching a lot of heat since Diddy got accused of these things. Basically, people want to know if Young Miami is staying with Diddy. And there's a lot of people already assuming that Young Miami is staying in a relationship with Diddy, even though all of these horrible things came out about him. I mean, just the other day she posted on her Twitter and she said, dang, I miss my dog. Of course, we don't know who she's talking about, but people automatically assume in the comment section that she was talking about Diddy, so they automatically started to go on her. Joe Budden recently speculated on his podcast that we'll probably never get another Carisha Please episode, okay? Now, I could kind of understand this. This is not so much of Hayden because it recently did come out in reports that Diddy decided to temporarily step aside as chairman for Revolt TV. But still, Joe Budden and his podcast got kind of shady when they were talking about, oh, I don't think Young Miami is going to win another award for her podcast. Now, I think that was kind of messed up because when Young Miami did win, I believe it was a BET award for Carisha Please, when Young Miami did win a BET award for Carisha Please, there was a lot of podcasters who were pretty much upset because they felt like they had worked harder and longer than Young Miami had been working. And they felt like just because she was messing with Diddy and she had that privilege, that's why she won the BET award that she won, okay? Looks like Young Miami completely got fed up the other day. She posted to her Twitter and she said, the internet is too toxic. I'm leaving y'all in 2023 y'all got it okay and then she decides to go on instagram live and she's encouraging her fans to learn how to block out all of the noise she's like look there's going to be a lot of noise going on around you sometimes you got to learn how to block it out and she comes out and does this and goes live and says this right after joe budden's podcast of him saying that he doesn't think that there's going to be another Carisha Please episode goes viral and it's all over the blog. So it definitely seems like she's seen what Joe Budden had to say. And she was like, look, I ain't worried about what you have to say. I'm blocking out the noise. Now, I am glad that Young Miami is staying in positive spirits because let's be real. We don't know if Young Miami is still messing with Diddy. It could be a thing where she decided to cut him off. Until we see pictures, people can't just speculate that Young Miami is just going to stay with him but people feel like because of the behavior that she has displayed even before these allegations came out they feel like oh she's the type of woman who would stay with a man who has all of this dirty laundry i want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section do you think that young miami is still with diddy or do you think that she's leaving him in 2023 with everything else, okay? I think Young Miami probably wouldn't want to leave those benefits that she's getting from Diddy, but I feel like for her safety and her own sake, it probably would be a good idea. Like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Lil Uzi Vert recently came out and said that he is going to be quitting rap after his next album and he wants to start making women's 
clothing. This is very interesting. Let's go ahead and get into this article from themessenger.com. It says, this Lil Uzi Vert says that he's done making music after their next album. The rapper who uses they and them pronouns confirmed to TMZ that their new album, Love is Rage 3, will be their last. While the Nicki Minaj collaborator says that they still love making music, their love of the craft has diminished. The 28-year-old shared that they will now be trading their recording booth for a fashion studio as they have already begun constructing on their home office for an upcoming clothing company. While details on what to expect from the brand have yet to be announced, fans should not expect Vert's girlfriend JT to be involved. The City Girls member currently runs her own fashion project, The Girl JT World. The rapper made the decision to recently go sober while creating their recent project, The Pink Tape. They say ditching the substances helped them create better music while becoming more focused on a song's subject matter. Lil Uzi Vert's decision to quit music comes after their appearance on Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 album, their collaboration, Everybody Has Gained Traction by reaching number 26 on the Billboard Hot 100 with a music video in the works okay can't wait to see that music video between Lil Uzi Vert and Nicki Minaj I did not know that they were working on a music video but the beat to that song like the whole song in general I already know that music video is going to be fire anyways how do you guys feel about Lil Uzi Vert saying that he's giving up on rap to start a woman's clothing brand now it's not like Lil Uzi Vert is saying that he's starting a men's clothing brand I want to see what he has in the works for women and I know a lot of his fans are probably going to be upset that he's decided to completely quit music but honestly I feel like rappers say this all the time and they probably you know later on will come out with some more music but in the meantime how do you feel about Lil Uzi Vert saying that he's completely done with music and he's getting into fashion not just regular fashion but women's fashion let's go ahead and move into this last topic my lovely tts i cannot believe blueface really tweeted this today okay now of course blueface whether it's blueface or krishan one of these two gotta post something on their twitter or on their social media to shock the whole world to go viral to start trolling right so blueface he decides to of course troll today and he says i'm g a why okay now he said i do blank i got this he said i'm bad i should be in jail he's basically confirming all of the rumors and all of the things that people say about him now we know when him and krishan got into it about a week or two ago krishan said that she seen some gay stuff in his phone if you know what i'm talking about and now he's coming out and people are feeling like blueface yeah he's trolling he's trying to be sarcastic but he's actually confirming what krishan was saying okay so the fact that he came out and said this it seems like what krishan was saying about him and what she's seen in his phone was actually very a hundred percent true like it's really seeming real at this point now like i said a lot of y'all gonna be in the comments like you know that man wasn't being serious you know he was being sarcastic but i did see a lot of comments of men even saying look a man is not gonna even joke around about that and talk about oh he is this if there's not some validity or some truth to that so could blueface be telling on himself could he actually just be coming out and trying to put it in a sarcastic way or do you guys just feel like he's trying to be funny he's trying to be sarcastic he's trying to get attention and he's just trolling once again okay y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section you want to know my thoughts and opinions like i said i kind of agree with them people who are talking about look no man who is completely straight as a line child is going to come out and troll and even play around and say something like this for people to misinterpret it and take it the wrong way some people are like it must be something there and there's nothing wrong with that if that's his truth but you know what i'm saying of course like krishan said why hide it away from the women that you are dealing with it's okay to be what you want to be, but don't be secretive and hide it and deal with women because that can be dangerous. That could be messed up, especially if you're going behind their back 
and doing some other things. I ain't gonna get too much into it, y'all, because I already know I don't want people in the comments like, uh, 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 uh. But anyways, y'all, let me know what y'all think about these topics, my lovely TTs, in the comment section. Once again, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Like I always say, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.